This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and welcome back to SQL series. So today I'm going to cover up an interesting topic that is how to find out the highest salary, the second highest salary. What do you mean by max function? What do you mean by limit keyword? Right? So these are the very common things in SQL and it's a very famous interview question that how to find out the second highest salary, third highest salary, what are the different uh, queries you can write for such kind of questions. So let's start. So I'll do one thing that I, I'm going to create one table. So let's see this table structure I've already okay, written over here. So let's say I'm going to create this particular table, right? And uh, let's create it, execute it, and then the table will be created. And then I'm going to insert some queries. I mean, insert some data over here that let's see three plus two, five rows I want to insert. And I have written this employee ID, name, age, phone number, email ID, address, and salary. Right, salary will be integer type. And then I simply execute it. It will insert the data into the employee table, <clears throat> right? And uh, after that, what I'm gonna do that, uh, okay, just a second. Okay. Oops, it's not going down one second. I'll do one thing, I'll, yeah. And then quickly I'll check the data is inserted or not. So we will hit the query, second, we will hit the query, uh, select star from employee table and we will see the data is coming or not. Yes, so data is there, fine. After that, what we need to do that, uh, we need a function that is called max function. So I want to find out the highest salary, okay. So I'm going to find out the salary, right? Having the highest salary. So simple, I'll write select what? Max function bracket, I'll write salary column, okay? From employee table. And then you run it, let's see what happens. So you're getting 10,000 over here, right? So here spelling doesn't matter. You can write capital S and the small s, both are same thing. So we will get 10,000 over here. 10,000 means the, the highest salary. Now, the question here is that I have to find out the second highest salary. The second highest salary is 8,000. So I have to find out, right, 8,000. So how will you write it? So to do this thing, guys, we have to use inner query concept. Okay, I'll write one inner query. How to do that? I simply write, see, exact same thing I'll write. Okay, from employee, where my salary whatever the salary is less than in bracket i'll write the same query once again so here like this now see what i'm saying select max star from employee and it will give you ten thousand right first inner query will be executed it will give you ten thousand and out of ten thousand salary less than it means give me all the salaries which are less than ten thousand so it will give you if the salary will hold less than ten thousand it means it will hold from one thousand 4,000, 7,000, and 8,000. And out of this collection, give me the maximum salary. So ultimately, the outer query will be executed on the basis of this particular collection from this particular table, from this particular table collection. And in this particular table collection, we have less than 10,000, whatever the salaries are available, right? Because inner query, we have written like this, and we have written less than, right? And then you execute it, you will get 8,000 over here. Make sense? So this is how we get the second highest salary, right? But the problem here is second highest salary. If you really want to find out the third highest salary in that case, what we have to do? Third highest salary in means we have to write one more inner query. It means two inner queries we have to write, right? So if you write it like this, let's, let's try the second highest salary from employee where salary is less than once again i'll write the same thing over here like this and then let's see it should give you the third highest salary is seven thousand so if you notice one thing see let's see this is less than and this is uh, less than i'm writing over here it means this is my third inner query the second inner query and one outer query so to find out the third highest salary 
right to find out the second highest salary we have to write how many inner queries we have to write second highest salary means we have to write one inner query right to find out the third highest salary we have to write two inner queries right same thing if i ask you that okay to find out the nth salary we have to write n minus one inner queries so if i ask you we have to find out the 10th highest salary it means nine inner queries we have to write that's a very complex uh, query in that case. It means so many inner queries you are writing again and again. So that's not a, a good solution. This is not <clears throat> the complete solution of find out or finding out the highest salary. So second highest salary, third uh, third highest salary, we can write, let's see, one or two inner queries. That is fine. So this is one of the solution. What is the next solution? The next solution is, guys, we can use limit keyword. How to use limit? Limit is like from a huge database, from a huge number of rows, you have to find out, okay, the top 100 queries, or let's say top uh, 10 queries like this. So how to do that? Simple write select start from employee and simple write limit to, means give me top two salaries, okay? Give me two top two rows actually, not salary. And then if you execute it, it will give you top two rows only. And see that top two rows, right? Like this, it will give it to you. So limit, you can write it guys, and you can use a limit keyword, okay, over here. So how to do that? To find out the second highest salary or the nth highest salary. I simply write, select, now see it carefully. Select, start from employee, right? Select, start from employee, but we have to find out what? We have to find out the salary. So I'm simply write salary. This is without max function. Select salary from employee. I'll use order by salary column in descending order like this right in descending order and i'll simply use limit keyword limit n minus one comma one and what is n n is the the highest salary number that you are looking for so let's say i'm looking for second highest salary so i'll just replace n by one and by two so two minus one because second highest salary and then if you run it so we should get the second highest salary is 8,000. And actually second highest salary is 8,000. Same query will be applied on the highest salary also. So I simply write the first highest salary, one minus one. So one minus one is 10,000. Same thing, let's say I'm gonna looking for uh, the third highest salary, the three minus one. So it will give you three minus one is the 7,000 highest salary. So this is a very, very good generic and fast performance wise also. It's a very fast and generic query, which will be applied on <coughs> which can be applied on okay, any kind of uh, highest salary number. <clears throat> so <clears throat> instead of maximum function or instead of inner queries, I'll be using this particular formula. And limit means within this particular range. Let's say second highest salary, two minus one, one. So from one to one, it will iterate. Okay, so first row will be the zero row for, okay. And and the first two minus one, one means one to one means they give me the second number row. Okay, from that particular limit. So it will it, it will behave like a it will work like a range actually. Same thing if you find out that let's see the third highest salary, my third highest salary, three minus one, two, two to one. It means okay, give me the third highest salary, zero, one, and two, like this. So it will give you the data on the basis of the limit range. Okay, so remember this query, guys. Now it can be applied on <clears throat> any particular table that you are looking for. So let's see my the lowest salary is what? One, two three four five so let's see i'll write five minus one let's see what happens so i'm getting thousand okay see so the lowest salary is thousand actually right guys so limit function you can use it some keywords are also there guys some keywords are not working in the latest sql server top keyword Okay, so top keyword is also there and row num is also there. So you can apply top and row num. I'll tell you how to do that. But right now it will not work because I'm using the latest version of SQL Server. And my SQL Server also on our Oracle site uh, database is also sometimes the row number and the top keyword doesn't work. But you can write it something like this. Select top. Okay. Uh, select top three star from something like this from employee. It will behave like limit three. It means let's see top two. Give me top two rows. But right now, it will give you error or something like this. Near two syntax error or something like this. Okay. Or top. Let me write something like this. Yeah. 
but right now it will not work because uh, top is not supported by the latest okay in the latest uh, uh, in the latest mysql server and oracle as well so i think it got obsolete or something like this or deprecated they have removed it but limit is exactly limit will do limit two means give me top okay top two rows like this okay similarly we can use row number also so you can write it like this select star from now see sometime you will see such kind of queries as well select a star from employee where row number is less than equal to two like this also so row, row number is a keyword which is actually uh, which is actually behaving like a row number total number of rows so row number less than equal to two means top two rows it will give it to you so if you find out if you see such kind of keyword top keyword and the row number keyword uh, in your uh, database queries or something like this so assume that okay maybe they are using the old version of database or oracle or old world old version of mysql server and the sql server but in the recent sql server it will not work so if you see let me comment this particular line you will see that row number it's not working over here okay see it's saying that no such column row number something like this so maybe it is not identified right but there is a keyword row number is a keyword and the top is also a keyword just like a limit keyword right so that's why maybe row number is not getting highlighted in pink color or something right so but anyway so you forget about generally we don't use top and row number we always use limit and the limit function is 